for literally no reason. There's yeah, nothing wrong with me, Gigi. What is wrong with me, Gigi? Alright, cool to see is a scumbag. Like, there's no, no two ways about it. Like, the man is a scumbag. Hey, man, call Shane. Hey, man. So tired of these 30 IQ brain dead idiots who listen to people like Call of Shane. Over the years, I have provided extensive evidence of Nadia cheating in Call of Duty. I have exposed her at LAN events, as she performed terrible, in front of millions of viewers, at the Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer reveal, back in 2022. Okay. Alright, I'm not back, I'm in trouble. I got permission, she just got yelled at for Activision because, um... We just found some hacks on her account, sorry. I caught her with aimbot. I caught her with wall hacks. I even provided evidence she was previously permanently banned. Both got banned. Uh, I was literally one beforeing and a whole squad pulls up on me. Like... I've also called her out for admitting to cheating in her past. Hack, you hack once and you know people think you hack for life. Is she trying to suggest she used to cheat and no longer does? Now, today justice has been served. Nadia has finally been blacklisted by Activision. She is pretending it's because she no longer plays Call of Duty. But this is false, because there are over 200 creators that are set to attend the COD next event, and hardly any of them play Call of Duty. She also tried to claim that the reason she is now blacklisted is because of a recent confrontation with Call of Duty developers. Now, this is totally false. If Activision blacklisted streamers for trash-talking Call of Duty, they would have nobody left. The fact is, she has been blacklisted for the same reasons as the other toxic vile e-girl, FaZe Kaylee. Here is what Nadia has to say about it. Vondel, and they were, you know, telling us about the new update. One of the key points that they, like, the patch note said was movement changes. Okay, like, it was very vague. Movement changes, okay? So, that, that, you know, like, after, after they were done with the prompt, they asked, uh, the creators if we have any questions and I said I asked them if there's gonna be any you know slide canceling because I think slide canceling is really prominent to the game and that's what blew up the game right um and they were like mm, they were they give the you know the generic answer we don't know just wait till the new season drops um, and you'll see what the movement's like and I was like yeah but like you guys always say this and I think slide canceling should come back because it's really important um, and then Iceman Isaac, you know, kind of backed me up a little bit. He's like, yeah, this is the reason why, you know, MW 2019 did a lot better than this one. Um, and then that kind of, you know, made Call of Duty upset because, um, I also backed that up and I was like, yeah, like my TikTok movement and all that, like you don't see TikToks about the newest Call of Duty. And then, you know, Rob, um, wasn't too happy about that. He was, he's like, well, someone that works at Activision and he was like, that's not true. Um, we actually just, you know, we actually just looked at the TikTok analytics and and content analytics, and the newest game is just is doing just as good uh, content-wise as the old game. And I was like, no, it's not. Even Courage tweeted about it, and he's like, well, back then, you know, it was kind of hyped up because the pandemic. And I was like, what? Like last year, when I blew up, like that, the pandemic was, you know, over. Wasn't even considered a pandemic. Like that's not true. And you know, kind of go. A little bit went back and forth, and I was like, I think that's just a very predominant thing to have in the game. It create, it helped a lot of content creators out. Movement was really important, and Rob was just basically saying, no. Content or the content's doing this just as good, even better, the newest game. And I was like, okay, All right. It was a little bit back and forth, um, mostly between me and Rob. Iceman just said, you know, he thinks that it was the, you know, it was really important. To have, and that's why MW 2019 did really good. Um, but it was mostly me and Rock going back and forth, right? So that happened, um, and I see that you know there's like a, there, everyone's getting you know invites out to the newest game. So I messaged Shanice and I was like, why am I being blackballed? You know, like I don't understand. I noticed when I was getting blackballed and when I went to that bundle event, I told you know, Call of Duty that I noticed it when I kissed Azra 
um, specifically. And then after that, they really didn't invite me out much. Um, and they told me that's not true, that that's not the reason. Um, they said because they said, I wasn't playing Call of Duty, but I was playing Call of Duty back then. I, I was playing Call of Duty with Chris Brown. I don't know if you guys remember. But I was playing Call of Duty with Chris Brown. So, like, like I, I was playing Call of Duty. Um, but, um, so that happened. And they were like, okay, well, that, that's when they invited us to the Vondel event. And they're like, that's not you. And then after the Vondel event, I saw a bunch of people getting invited. So I was like, what's going on? I thought you guys would tap me in. And then... I was like, I honestly think it's because of uh, the fan house stuff in Azra. Um, and they called me and they were like, that's not true. We're not inviting you because of the the little like back and forth we had about movement, which I didn't really even think was a big deal. And they were telling me that um, they, they asked for they asked for our opinions afterwards. They asked for questions. They also asked for the feedback. It's like they didn't even want to hear negative feedback, but I didn't even say it in a rude way. I was just saying that it's really predominant to have in the game. And I wasn't the only one saying it. You know, I, there was another creator backing it up. Well, I'm pretty sure I got invited. Um. Some time ago, I exposed Faye's Kitchen, attempting to cheat, at a Fortnite charity event. Looking back now, it was easy to see, she was farming viewers, for her inappropriate business plan, as she has a special website for her adult viewers, and using Fortnite to do that crossed the line in my personal opinion. She was attending everything, while she continued to build a social following, and Fortnite and Call of Duty, were just pawns in her game. But you see, nobody trusts her. She was caught by a referee, downloading another game, at a sponsored Fortnite event. This just shows the mentality of FaZe Dolphin. Yeah, I don't think they downloaded a Warzone. Please, 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 please. Oh my god, they did not. The referee saw she was up to no good, and called for assistance. Oh my god. Never mind, we can't play it. We can't play it. It's 40 gigabytes shy, it's over. It's over, bro. It's over. At least I tried. As a second referee arrived, they firmly spoke to her, and told her to stay in the game. Stay in game. Oh, oh, oops, yeah, I accidentally oh, no, lagged out. <laughs> the referee stepped in, and told her to never, ever exit from the game during the tournament. They manually took control of her PC. Could this be an attempt to download and inject cheat software? The referees were making sure everything was legit. In fact, two referees were now assigned to her station. I am unsure what is going on at this point, but whatever was happening, it needed two officials to sort this out. It took a very long time to get back into the game again, I have to suspect she was trying to inject something. There is no other reason to close the game, during a LAN event. At one point I thought she was forcefully removed from the event. The low IQ streamers, couldn't explain the cheating accusations, so they all rallied together, to try and, quote unquote, do something to me. No, because of, because of the uh, call of, uh, crap. You know? Crap, yeah. Call yeah. Call of crap. I don't want to even want to say the name. Um, you know, honestly, they have a really like uh good chance of getting banned because they said something that was really homophobic in their YouTube channel. I'm getting my manager. Yeah, they, they like made fun of me in a homophobic way, which is against TOS on YouTube. So I got my manager I got my manager to go do something about it. So we will we will find out this weekend what's gonna happen to that account. Uh get them out! Get him out! Get 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 him out! Rats! Rats! Still here and undefeated, and this video proves I was again absolutely correct with my analysis. They called her a marketing genius. Can you remember? Their talent agencies tried to further their careers by arranging a watch party when the peripheral launched. But surely Chloe watches my videos. You play Call of Duty? Yeah, that's my game. You better believe it. The event went on, without Chloe, and it was an absolute disaster. And they were exposed, as they were absolutely useless. Monitor, oh no. Oh, oh shit, oh yeah. Alright, starting off uh, real oh, hot. Oh my god. Sure. <clears throat> Same. Okay, well, it's uh, oh. So, oh, all right. Uh, chat, oh, 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 and two. 
no need to keep track. It's fine. Don't worry. I'll, I'm just gonna walk around pretty yes at this point because it's okay. I that. just got smacked in the neck. Um. <clears throat> okay. Nadia was just as bad. She is also struggling. They are playing against very low skilled players. Also playing on television and standard controllers. Bro. How many it's kills do you have? I've, I, 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 Hall of Shame are proud to partner with Total Antivirus, bringing you the best in online security. Their award-winning antivirus is trusted by millions all over the world. Their software benefits from not only regular virus updates, but you can also quarantine suspicious files, keeping you safe. You will never have to worry about adware, ransomware, scareware, trojans or malware again. The web shield will keep you safe while browsing online. Eliminate those irritating ads, pop-ups and notifications that clog the screen on your favorite websites. Never lose a password again with this handy security add-on. Store all your passwords securely in one place and lock them safely up in your vault. Whether you have a laptop, desktop computer, smartphone or tablet, they have you covered. Through Call of Shame, you can get an incredible 80% discount today by using the link on the screen. You can also scan the QR code, that's this right here. I personally use this software on my own PCs, it's not just a partnership, it's something I trust myself. Please check the video description for more information. We recently reported that the low IQ Warzone streamers were caught tormenting and humiliating a 7-year-old little boy during their nuke attempt inside a bot lobby. Sorry, little man. Hey. Call of Duty refused to take action on these streamers. So, without warning, something incredible happened. Supergirl got wind of this and took matters into her own hands. But Raven Software refused to help. He is currently near Tarak Village, in an elevated position. Take out the rat to protect other players in the game. I immediately headed to the village and saw the rat high up in the tower. I decided to hit it with a rocket and watch it bleed out. However, it managed to revive itself, which was disappointing. Soon after, it returned. I took a shot and missed. However, I was its bounty target, and my position was made. He was now drinking heavily to express his masculinity on stream, in front of the simps, so I knew he was easy pickings. I quickly made my escape, hoping to lure the rodent to ground level. However, the intoxicated rodent slipped and fell right in front of me. Without hesitation I shot it. I took the butt of my gun and cracked it across its head, ending its life. Duty community, myself included, have always claimed high-profile Warzone streamers are protected by a whitelist. During the Twitch leak, we got to see for the first time that whitelists do indeed exist to protect streamers. With streamers getting special privileges, with notes such as, do not ban for literally any reason. Tim the Tatman also featured on the list along with many more streamers and content creators. I headed to the dark web, to investigate the Twitch leaks, as the information online is not complete, and I was able to find some of the leaked earnings, that the streamers, did not want you to know about. Symphony, bagged himself a nice 1.3 million dollars. Bobby Poff Gaming took around 1.4 million, with the COD Karen taking 1.7. Iceman Isaac took just over half a million, but the permanently banned Warzone streamer also had a nice payout from her simps. This one, who couldn't even qualify for the London finals, took twice as much as a leading cardiologist. Mutex also has a nice little payday, with Aiden, who came from Fortnite taking just under 1 million. The Baca brothers took over 1.3 million, while this one took three times as much that our active serving marines while cheating from her bedroom. High profile streamers are cheating. They even claim this in their lawsuit against a cheat provider, where they claim among the customers of the cheating software are high profile streamers. They choose their words carefully, high profile streamers, not streamers, but high profile. Activision know they are cheating, just like everyone else. Like, knows who's hacking and who's not. Like, I sat down with drinks with Activision the night before, and, like, we talked about a whole bunch of creators that they were like, oh, yeah, we know these people are hacking. We're just waiting for them to, like, get 
give us proof and then they'll ban them live. Like, they don't. The best female Warzone player is missing all her shots. She can't even finish the downed player. She needs to reload. Man, I'm so sorry. I know that's rowdy. Oh my god. This is why I need my Tony. Okay, good shot. Useless. Come on. Here we go again. Flicking through the settings and making no changes. Mm. Take your shots. Embarrassing. Chad, do you put this offer on? Why is the best female Warzone player asking a chat, full of simpletons what settings to adjust? You put this offer on. Is this a joke? Someone in her chat quickly spots the delay tactic, and calls her out, for her shocking gameplay compared to when she is back at home. She is exposing herself again, for the second time. You're playing awfully a lot different? Bro, it's literally my first game on. No, it's not. Shut up. The female is now informed by someone to turn her headset around. It's on the wrong way. She is constantly being humiliated. Take a look how her eyes are always focused on the one screen. She often glances to her minimap and hardly moves her eyes. This is legit gameplay. Let's compare this to her gameplay when she's back home. Turn me out, chat! Look, hardly any eye movement. Turn me out, chat! And again, but what is she looking at when she is in her bedroom? Ah yes, the famous left monitor. This is what the community have a big problem with, please let me explain. She has this position, just above the minimap here, this gives the impression, she is checking her minimap, but could she have wall hacks displayed on that second monitor? This is what wall hacks looks like on another monitor. With that in mind, please explain why, when Faye Swag asked her to take a photo of her monitors, her instant reaction was to close down something. I want to see. I, I want to see. Is there a way to see your monitor right now? Okay, so take out your phone. First, she disables something. Actually, then, she checks her monitor. Yeah. Take out your phone, take a picture of your monitor right now. Too late. Absolutely disgraceful behavior. Tommy called out cheating in a Warzone tournament when a player started touching keys. Let's watch. He's editing something. He's touching something. He's just touched something. He just did it. He just touched it. Mm. You've seen him do it with his keyboard. I something? I touched my keyboard. Yes. You toggled. I can monitor you, Cam Tommy, for the rest of the thing. If you want me to? Pace. Come on. Mm. Why did you touch yeah, I'll monitor your Cam. keyboard? Do I set this up? I'll monitor you. What did you keyboard. touch? He just touched his keyboard. This is terrible acting. He literally just touched his keyboard. Oh. Answer. What did you touch? I tapped out my game real quick. Why? Tapped out my game. I've just called. Now, let's apply the same logic to Nadia. I want to see. I, I want to see. Is there a way to see your monitor right now? Okay, so yeah, take out your something. phone. He's touched Actually, something. he's just touched something. He just did it. He just f***ing touched it. Mm. You've seen him do it with his keyboard. You toggled. I... He just touched his keyboard. This is terrible acting. He literally just touched his keyboard. I've just caught him. I f***ing knew it. So, why does this Warzone streamer need a whole monitor to display a folder with icons? You dirty little rat. Here she is, trying to play the female card to join the FaZe Clan. Due to me being a female in a male-dominant industry, I incorporated this mindset into gaming. I hope that women will look up to me and believe they can do the same without the stigmas that they aren't good enough. She didn't even make the top 20. It didn't work. All her doors have now closed. 
So what can she do now? She wants instant fame and can't wait any longer. In desperation, she flies to LA and turns up at Swag's house to play on his setup. When all else fails, and you've gone as far as you're going to go, you can always turn on those tears. And maybe, just maybe, they may feel sorry for you, and grant you the fame and attention, you so desperately need. I can't believe that I did it! Shut up, we got you. Game over. UAV online. Alright, cool to shame is a scumbag. Right, I'm not actually waiting about it. Ready for launch. All the same. Oh, oh, the problem with these faceless creators is they're not superheroes. Shane is a prime example. Call it Shane. I stop showing all the time. Say man. Say man.